you have got this muzzle this muzzle enters all the way it makes a hole and enters all the way into this anterior wall and look here this muzzle all the way it comes down like this it comes like this right and look here what is happening the tendon of this muzzle the tendon of this muzzle actually i'm not uh, drawing a line. it attaches to your what it att attaches to your malleus what are these three bones why tensor tympani should attach to your malleus bone that for example let us say this is the circle which i'm drawing now this is the lateral wall okay this lateral wall right this is the lateral wall in this lateral wall this circle whatever i'm drawing this is your tympanic membrane this is your tympanic membrane now what is happening here what is happening is there is a muscle that is coming all the way and it is attaching to the malleus bone malleus is attached to what malleus is very firmly attached to the tympanic membrane right malleus is very firmly attached to the tympanic membrane and the tensor tympani is also attaching to the malleus now what will happen is that whenever this ten tensor tympani will contract what will happen the pressure is impended upon the malleus bone as malleus is attached to tympanic membrane the pressure is in turn impended upon the tympanic membrane so what will happen is that whenever now normally the tympanic membrane is loose like this whenever the tensor tympani contracts the tympanic membrane becomes stiff the tens the tympanic membrane becomes stiff now even if i blow the air look even if i blow the air the tympanic membrane is not moving but previously when i blow the air the tympanic membrane was moving now the tympanic membrane is stiff why it i it is because of this tensor tympani muscle so can i tell that tensor tympani muscle contracts the tympanic membrane right it it causes tension it develops tension within the tympanic membrane or it stretches the tympanic membrane now why is this happening the reason why it is happening is that for example uh, let us say you are sitting calmly in an open place now someone someone to make a prank or whatever it is now he'll put a dj side of you and suddenly he'll raise the volume now the moment he'll raise the volume high frequency sounds can enter into your middle ear cavity can enter into your tympanic membrane so what will happen that would cause a headache that is another thing but high frequency sounds the moment the moment this high frequency sounds hit your tympanic membrane there is a rupture of tympanic membrane so once tympanic membrane is ruptured you will have hearing loss isn't it so what should i do what should i do is that what should i do is that i should stop i should stop the movement of the tympanic membrane now if i don't stop the movement of the tympanic membrane now the moment all these waves once they hit the tympanic membrane what will happen is that this tympanic membrane will transmit that high frequency sounds to your malleus and that will in turn transmit to incus and that will in turn transmit to your stapes and that will cause entry of high frequency sounds into your middle ear cavity so you cannot listen to sounds more than 60 decibels which will damage your ear or in fact right so obviously it will damage your ear so to prevent that what will i do is that i will stop the movement of the tympanic membrane and make the tympanic membrane stiff when i make the tympanic membrane stiff it does not propagate the sounds to malleus and malleus will not vibrate when malleus will not vibrate then incus will not vibrate then stapes will not vibrate then high frequency sounds cannot enter into your ear so this is some kind of a reflex mechanism